There we go. Okay. Okay, let's let's try. Before experience Yes, I played I played both of them. Uh you will stand to gain a lot more from this experience if you played the first two titles and this exam will take a, make a bit more sense as it carries on from the last examinations left off. I already I already played test the test and the test too. Well then let us continue. Please make sure that you answer each question with the utmost honesty and that you take your time to answer the questions presented. Even answering one question uh, improperly may drastically change your outcome. You cannot go back to answer questions. You miss... Uh, sure. So be sure to take your time. Uh, this is of utmost importance. When the sun comes crashing down and the heroes fade away, the darkness is all around, and there is no light of day. I will come back for you, so that you'll never feel alone. My spirit will push through, your heart will forever be my home. And when the world spirals into abyss, I'll be standing there, your embrace so long I've missed. My soul, my love I bear, and when every nerve has been left deadened, and every ghost has left its shell, I will bring you back to heaven, and you've rescued me from my hell. Is this a fucking song? <laughs> no matter what happens, I will always love you. Do you promise? With every ounce, uh, with every ounce of my heart and each droplet of my soul, I swear to you. We are going to find a way out of here. The testing room. Huh. The other two were the ones from the other two tests. While this guy is new. Oh god. Shut up myself. Hmm. I wasn't expecting you so soon. Though I knew that one day we would meet in this room. You see. Closely I've been watching you. Studying every breath and every move. A few of my former colleagues you may have met. And a slew of questions you've answered without regret. I may be similar. But unlike them. Still. I'll make you swallow the truth like a bitter pill. I will peel the emotion from your soul. And make you eat your feelings whole. The questions I ask may be hard to answer. But I will cut the truth from you like cancer. Both of us know why you're here. To open up and cast a fear. To be as honest as you can. To take angel's wing or devil's hand. And in the end we both will know. How to escape the undertow. Time is on your side, but mistakes are not. M Miss and answered questions lead to misery wrought. Take time to think before you decide. Dig deep for the answers that live inside. You may not go back, you may not return. Once the de decision is made, into your soul it is burned. But before you continue, just know this. Your dishonesty would be very remiss. If your answers lack the guidance of truth, then your final destination will rather be uncouth. 
so with that being said, I need your heart. I need your heart's honesty. You can run from yourself, but you can't run from me. Now, let the examination begin. Do you ever feel like you just aren't good enough every day? Do you ever feel like you put more effort into friends or relationships than others put back into you? Yeah. Wait. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I I clicked yes without thinking about it. But then, like, as I thought about it, I was like, oh, no, no, that was right. <laughs> Do you ever feel like your life's going nowhere? Yes, every day. This stream wouldn't exist otherwise. Do you ever feel like you're trapped in limbo? Yes. Do you ever feel like do you ever feel overwhelmed by seeing tri trivial by seemingly trivial tasks? Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, no. Are you sometimes afraid of what your future may hold? No. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? Apparently so. I literally had to ask, but yeah. Are you afraid of death? No. Are you afraid of what might come after death? No. Do you feel as though you're wanted in life? No. Do you ever feel like you just don't belong? Yes. Do you ever feel like a burden? Yes. Have you ever felt left out? Yes. Have you ever felt like a failure? Yes. I felt like you just weren't attractive enough? Yes. I mean, I'm ugly as hell. Have you ever worked yourself sick? That's kind of what I'm doing right now. Do you ever have race... I didn't... I didn't read that. Are you afraid to ask for help? Honestly, yes. Do you feel like people often criticize you? Uh... No, I just don't want to be a burden. Do you ever feel judged by your friends or family? And yeah. Do you ever wonder what your purpose is in life? Yeah. If you could turn back time for any reason, would you? Yeah. Would you say that you have many regrets in life? Yeah. Does meeting new people for the first time make you uncomfortable? Yes. Does looking out your window at night make you feel uneasy? No. Do you sometimes double check that your doors are locked even though you're certain that you've already locked them? Yeah. Do I feel like life is moving too slow? Yeah. Do I feel like life is moving too fast? Also yes. Like, sometimes it's just way too slow, but sometimes it's also way too fast. Do you feel uncomfortable when you're home alone? No. Would you consider yourself to be a thoughtful person? Uh, no. Would you consider yourself to be superficial? No. Do you ever judge others by the way they look or dress? Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like everyone does. Would you consider yourself to be high maintenance? Mm, what, what was high maintenance again? No. Have you ever been bullied by someone you cared about? Someone I cared about? Ooh. Ooh, that's a difficult one. Um, have I? I want to say yes. Have you ever been a bully to someone? Yeah. Do you try to keep a low profile to avoid attention from others while in crowded area? Yeah. Do you actively try to avoid busy places? Yes. Would you sometimes rather be alone than surrounded by people you care about? Yes. Does making phone calls make you feel uncomfortable? 
Uh, no. Hmm. No, actually, no. Maybe. No, that I'm just no. I'm just an awkward person, but it's not really like uncomfortable. Yeah, sure. Are you sometimes afraid to confront people, even when they do something that bothers you? Uh, the, it depends. It, like, it depends on how bad they, on how bad the thing is. Do you feel uncomfortable when committing, when committing to definitive plans for the future? No. Do you ever feel like no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to stay motivated? Yeah. Like that's pretty much every day. Do you ever fear that you're failing those who care about you most? Yeah. Does driving a vehicle give you anxiety? I don't know how to drive. Are you afraid of exploring new places by yourself? Uh... Mm. No. Have you ever carried an object around with you that made you feel more comfortable? Uh, yeah, my phone. Does being around animals bring you a sense of peace? Yes. Do you sometimes believe your loved ones are lying to you when they say that they care? Yeah. I really don't believe anyone would say they care, honestly. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you push your loved ones away? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to have to stop you here. The truth that pours forth is incredibly clear. I hope that you're being honest for your own health. You can try to lie, but I would be cheating yourself. I'd like to move on to the next phase of the test. Uh, also, real quick. Okay, got it. A series of pictures to give your brain a rest. You're going to tell me what emotional response they bring out. Which will show me what your mind is pondering about. So feast your eyes upon the art, and let me into that precious heart. For starters, what emotions do you feel in? Would you, what emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Anger, depression, joy, chaos, relaxation, numbness. Uh, chaos. I mean, there's a lot going on. What word do you feel describe this picture best? Trapped, manic, broken, soulful, chaotic, beautiful. It is pretty beautiful. What do you think this picture is called? Chaotic crystal, the portal, soul abduction, a mind of misery, celestial stare. I don't know. Um, the soul abduction. Very interesting. Moving on. What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Anger, depression, joy, chaos, relaxation, numbness. Uh, maybe depression? What word do you feel describes this picture best? Stuck, abyss, toxic, determined, life. Exotic. Uh, oh, demented. I didn't even read that. Toxic? Uh, what do you think this picture is called? Corruption wave, the birthing, raising gusor. Uh, destroyer of sense, darkness within. Darkness within, sure. I see. Next we have this one. 
What emotions do you feel is most present in this picture? Angry, depression, joy, chaos, relaxation, numbness. Uh, I guess relaxation. What word do you feel? Uh, actually, it's kind of chaotic, not gonna lie. What word do you feel describes this picture best? Glorious twin, mirrored, space, planets, galactic. I guess mirrored. What do you think this picture is called? The vault, datacron, I see you. <laughs> Reflection of the universe, shattered worlds. You know what? I see you. Noted. <laughs> Take a look at this one. What the fuck is that? Uh, too much going on. What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Anger, depression, joy, chaos, relaxation, numbness. Uh, chaos. That too much to look at. What word do you feel describes this picture best? Gateway, staircase, heavenly, unknown, vast, open. I guess gateway. What do you think this picture is called? Light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, that one's kind of good. Uh, the porthole, dimension door, stairway to heaven, the rabbit hole. <laughs> you know what? For the meme. For the meme, we're going with the rabbit hole. <laughs> That's peculiar. <laughs> and how about this one? What emotions do you feel is most present in this picture? Uh, I guess anger. What word do you feel describes this picture best? Eye, ring, abyssal, darkness, lightning, blazing. I guess darkness. What do you think this picture is called? Nest of darkness, the abyssal gaze, shrouded mystery, energy crown, darkness forming. I guess nest of darkness. I'll make a note of that. And this here. What the fuck am I looking at? What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Uh... Uh, chaos. What word do you feel describes this picture best? Mask, veiled, cyclops, jungle, prismatic, is prismatic, I guess. I think this picture is called Mind's Eye, Forest, Depth, The Masking, Eye of Chaos, A Shining Light. Sure. I see. Now this one. What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? What the fuck? That looks like a, like a moth, like, coming out of a cocoon or something. Anger, depression, joy, chaos, relaxation, numbness. I guess numbness. What word do you feel describes this picture best? Planetary, collide, blossom, wings, feathers, heavenly. Okay, so I wasn't too wrong about the, fl the, the, like, the flight. I guess wings. I think this picture is called... Growth seed, Mother Nature's gift, forming Earth. We meet again. Angelic touch. Uh, Mother Nature's gift. Hmm. How about this? Stop with the images. What emotions do you feel is most present in this picture? Anger. What word describes this picture best? Fury, torment, volcano, brimstone, shattered fault. Uh, fury. What do you think this picture is called? Arching blaze. The world breaks. Inferno gate. Uh, the shattering. Rage Incarnate, uh, sure, Arching Blaze. That's very interesting that you say that. How about this one here? What, emo what emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Depression, joy, chaos, relaxation, numbness. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Numbness? What word do you feel describes this pi picture best? Cyborg, veil, information, analyzing, monitoring, futuristic. Uh, analyzing. What do you think this picture is called? The data sphere, thought provoked, incubation of dreams, matrix watcher, life projector, matrix watcher. I will make note of that. Now this one. What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Uh, chaos. Oh, what do you think describes this best? Sky, womb, destiny, warp, birth. Uh, destiny. What do you think this picture is called? Birthplace of dreams, monolith heart, endless sea, going down, ultraviolet. Sure. Interesting. 
Take a look at this. Stop with the images. Stop. What emotions most present in this picture? Chaos. Hmm. Broken. Deciphering. I broke you. <laughs> the crystal first. Plain letters and Picasso face. I guess deciphering. Huh. We're almost done. What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Depression. What word do you feel describes this picture best? Arc, slime, vapor, melting, drool, viscous. They, I don't even see it as like viscous. I see like, I don't know, arc. What do you think this picture is called? Uh, the jewels of death, planet cradle, planet forming, dark lights, the sludge. Planet Cradle. Interesting choice. Let's see here. What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Anger. Uh, what word do you feel describes this picture best? Crown, sword, laser, sunlight, eclipse, solstice, sunlight. What do you think this picture is called? Sonic Boom. <laughs> Red Angel, Solar Blade, Broken Seal, uh, Disintegration Chamber, uh, Solar Blade. Alright then. Just a few more. What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Anger, Depression, Joy, Chaos, uh, um, sure. What word do you feel describes this picture best? Cosmic, Sphere, Eye, Beauty, Pearl, Gorgeous, Cosmic. I think this picture is called Spiral World, Marble of Time. Sure. That's surprising. Almost finished. What emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Sure. How would you describe this best? Gaseous, Chaos, Warped, Wave, Nebula, Jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. What do you think this picture is called? Light breaking. Very good. Last one, finally. What emotion do you think is most present in this picture? Chaos. Uh, music. Choir. I didn't even notice like the music notes. Voice, hollow, solitary, void. Um, music. What do you think this picture is called? The sound of silence, empty world, warp tunnel, notes of harmony, static field. Uh, sound of silence, I guess. I think that about wraps it up. Your answers have been documented well. Deep into your subconscious, subconscious they well, they dwell. But I am not finished with you just yet. There are still more truths that have yet to be met. As a matter of fact, this is only the start. We'll have a great deal of fun before we part. So let me challenge you on another level still. I will. Pick your brain until I get my fill. This next set of questions will test your conscience more. And again, your honesty I do implore. Let us begin. One year you're running late a little... You're running a little low on fun to purchase presents around the holidays, so you decide to spend one dollar and get everyone in your family a lottery ticket. Give each of them their own lottery ticket and wish them the best of luck. The drawing is held and one of your family members hits the jackpot. But it's someone who you don't really get along with and just brought the presents for out of moral obligation. They plan to keep all the money for themselves as they feel like it was their ticket. How does that make you feel? Angry. They should share the prize. Just I regret buying them a ticket. Happy. Good for them, I'm glad they won. Indifferent. That's the way life goes sometimes. Uh... Oh god, I'm starting to... My eyes started starting to get blurry. Uh, indifferent. Very well. And what would you wish to do in this situation? Try to steal their ticket for myself. Destroy the ticket so no one gets it. Get them killed so I inherit the money. 
Let them be happy with the- try to steal the ticket for myself. If the roles were reversed and you were given the winning lottery ticket, would you share the price money with your least favorite family member who brought you the ticket in the first place? No. I see. Now, you're walking through a forest and you come across a blank suitcase. Inside the case, there rests one million dollars. Alongside the... <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. Alongside the money, there lies a bloodstained note with only one word written on it. The note simply says, don't. How does that make you feel? Scared there's blood in there. Anxious, what if someone comes for the money? <laughs> Excited, I'm about to be rich. Indifferent, none of my business. Excited, I'm about to be rich. And what would you wish to do in this situation? Grab the suitcase and run back to my car. Take as much money as I could hold and leave the rest. Call the police, let them know about the suitcase. Leave the suitcase, move, uh, grab the suitcase and run back to my car. If the note wasn't covered in blood, would you change your decision at all? No. Interesting. The devil appears in your room at night while you're alone and just about to fall asleep and tells you that he has a special one-time offer for you. In exchange for your soul and eternal damnation, he will let you choose from one of three glorious bargains. He has not told you what those bargains are yet. How does that make you feel? Scared the devil's in my room? Suspicious? I don't think the devil truly exists. Intrigued? I wonder what he's willing to offer me. Angry? I want him out now. I don't think the devil truly exists. The devil then goes on to assure you that whether or not you believe him to be to truly be the devil he surely is and to prove his point he demonstrates magnificent magical prowess and drags you to hell for a split second before transporting you back to your bedroom in that second you could feel a lifetime of pain and suffering in the most unimaginable ways possible then he goes on to tell you his offers in exchange for your soul to see if you can strike a bargain which of these would you choose in exchange for your soul, if any? All the wealth and power in the world. You'll never age, but can still die from physical injury. You can bring back one person from the dead. I wouldn't sell myself to the vault. Uh, all the wealth and power in the world. If the devil offered you a deal of some kind, a deal of some kind, would you accept in exchange for eternal damnation? Um. Let me think. Eternal damnation. Mm. Eternal damnation. Mm. You know what? Sure. I see. Civilization is about to come to an end as a plague sweeps the globe, turning everyone who perishes into mindless zombies who hunger for living flesh. You watch as everyone you know becomes gravely ill, ill, ill and turns except for five of your closest friends and family. How does this make you feel? I'm really sad, I don't want the world to end. Excited, I always sense the bit of zombie apocalypse. Scared, I don't know if I could survive, uh, survive for long. Indifferent, this is my life now. Where's the option of killing yourself? That's the far easier option. I guess indifferent. If you knew that a zombie uh, uh, apocalypse was coming in 10 years from now and you could prevent it from happening, would you? Uh, no. Interesting. You've been working at a company for 10 years, and you've been promised a very important and incredibly lucrative promotion. However, someone hired only a number of weeks ago has just been promoted to the position that you were promised. Your boss essentially tells you tough luck, and then maybe one day you'll get the position. And that he had to promote the other employee as a favor for a friend. How does this make you feel? Angry, I was promised a promotion. Jealous, the promotion should have been mine. Betrayed, I can't trust my own employer. Indifferent, everything happens for a reason. Uh, betrayed. 
you've also learned a few secrets about the company that could be disastrous if they were to escape, such as the fact that they haven't been properly reporting their income for the last decade. What would you wish to do in this situation? Threaten to report my boss for fraud, quit my job and look for a new employment, sabotage the new employee and to get them fired? Nothing. You want something you lose. You know, I'll sabotage the new employee. And then I'll get my promotion, that cunt. If the roles were reversed and you were hired and promoted as a favor of someone more deserving, would you accept the position? Yeah. I see. Very interesting. You're home alone at night, cooking food in your kitchen, and you turn around to realize that someone is watching you through your window in the darkness. They have their face and hands pressed up against the window, and they make direct con eye contact with you before turning and running out of sight or on the other side of the house. How does this make you feel? Scared, where did they go? Anxious, I don't know what's about to happen. Secure, I'm ready to handle whatever is coming. Protective, I need my family to be okay. Uh, don't know what's about to happen, I guess. And what do you think you do in this situation? Lock the doors and call the police. Grab the nearest weapon in the house and prepare myself. Check to see if everyone in the house is safe. Run out of the house and go to the neighbors. Grab the nearest weapon. If the face you saw in the window was the face of a supernatural entity and not of a human being, would you want to change at all? Probably not. I'm going to present you with some more potential scenarios, but I'm going to ask for more simplistic answers as a result. Here we go. You're not feeling all too well, so you decide to go to the doctor. The doctor runs a series of tests and gets back to you shortly after, after to announce some grave news. It turns out that you've contracted an incredibly rare illness uh, that there is currently no cure for. This illness causes complete body paralysis within six months of contraction, meaning that in less than half a year from now, you will be rendered unable to move, blink, talk, or any form of expression whatsoever. You will need to be kept alive on a feeding tube, and you'll never be able to communicate with anyone else ever again. You will just be kept alive on machines in a vegetative state. Would you want to be kept alive in, a state, in that state, or would you rather have the plug pulled when that happens? Pull the plug and let me die. How would you like to spend the last six months of your life while still mobile? Spend, spend my friends and family pursuing all my dreams I haven't yet accomplished, making the world a better place where I can. I want to self pity and probably want to die. Oh, um, probably that one, but let's pick something else. Um, actually, no, that one. There are diseases out there that can. Hold on. There are diseases out there that can put you in that sort of unfortunate situation. Does knowing this motivate you to do things you've never done before and persuade more from life? Or do you feel relatively unaffected by the knowledge that this could potentially happen to you at any point in time? This motivates me to strive for a better future. It doesn't really change anything for me. Noted. You have a pet dog whom you've raised since birth. Three years have passed, and it's the best dog you've ever had. You love it. It's like your own child, and one day, he runs away in the middle of the night, chasing after a wild animal in the darkness. You search everywhere for your dog, but no matter what you do, you can't seem to make any progress. About a month passes, and you still haven't seen any trace of your four-legged friend, until one morning, you awaken to the sound of a familiar barking. You rush outside to find that your elderly neighbor in his late 80s is out in his front lawn, joyously playing with your dog. He has named the beast Johnny. Uh, he has named the beast Johnny, and they both seem to be having the time of their lives. You rush over there and hug your dog. He excitedly licks your face. Your neighbor says, Johnny's a good boy, isn't he? I lost him when I was just a boy, about your age. But he's come back. Johnny has come back and we're together again. Come to find out your elderly neighbor is suffering from dementia, recently brought on by the stress of a heartache of losing his wife just a couple of months prior to finding your dog. The, 
The dementia has caused him to believe that your dog Johnny is his old dog from his childhood coming back into his life and make him happy and keep him company. The dog seems to be in great shape, very happy and very well looked after. You, you know telling the old man you know telling the old man that isn't really his dog, it's your dog, would break, would break his heart and crush him. Would you break the news to him? To him that the dog, that that isn't his dog and take Johnny home with you? Or would you let him keep the dog and choose to visit him daily and play and go for walks? Uh, I would take my dog home with me. Fuck him. Does the story make you sad at all? A little, actually. It, it kind of does. Oh my god, my eyesight. Can you imagine yourself in the old man's position, being so alone in life and finding one thing that makes you feel less alone and potentially having to face it being ripped away from you once again? Yeah, I can. It's happened. Next question. Let's say that you were viciously murdered by a serial killer. You fell for one of their traps as they lured you in and made you their latest victim. Now, let's also say that you're given a unique opportunity in the afterlife as you return as a spirit to roam the earth. However, you're bound to two potential options, only, and only two. You can either choose to haunt your assailant and make his life miserable, hopefully foiling his plans to kill in the future and potentially save lives in the process, or you can choose to spend your time as a spirit amongst your still living family and friends, guiding them in positive ways and making their lives better. You are bound to whichever option you choose until either your family and friends are no longer living, or your killer is no longer living. You cannot choose both. Which one do you choose? I would say my friends and family, I would choose to haunt my killer. Fuck him. I would drive him to insanity and kill himself. Do you think you have what it takes inside to drive your killer insane and push him over the edge? I mean, unless he's... I don't know, unless he's roommates with a ghost, and yeah. Do you believe that this scenario is possible? Probably not. If this situation happened to a friend or family member and they were viciously killed, which situation would you rather them choose? I'd rather than stay with friends and family, I'd rather they haunted their killer. I rather they haunted their killer. Hmm. Next question. One night, you go to sleep and get a good rest that feels like the best sleep you've ever had. You wake up in an unfamiliar room, in an unfamiliar bed. You look in the mirror and you hardly recognize yourself. You look as though you've aged 20 years. There's a sticky note on the television screen that says press play. So you oblige the note and hit the play button to reveal a message that has been left for you all the way wait that has been left for you by all your friends and family that are still alive and well though they all seem to be 20 years older as well they explain to you that every single day for the last 20 years you've repeated the same day over and over again due to a severe head injury your memory doesn't last more than 24 hours so each day when you sleep all recollection of what took place 24 hours prior prior is entirely wiped. Your loved ones have made a video for you to let you know you have a say in your potential future. You have the option either watching this video every single day so you so you know what's going on and can continue to progress your life even though you won't have any recollection of it, or you can choose to continue living as you have been repeating the same day over and over again, living in ignorant bliss. Which do you choose to do? Watch the video every day? I would rather live happily but unknowing. Uh, I watch the video every day. But how will I remember to watch the video every day? That's the thing. Would you be upset if your family kept the truth from you for 20 years even though they felt like it was your, for your own good? Mm. Hmm, 20 years is a long time though. 
Yes. If your best friend was in this situation, would you make a video for them telling them the truth? Or would you repeat every day exactly the same for them in order to keep them happy? No, let them know the truth. Oh, I will let them live in their bliss. I would make a video telling them the truth. I would do that. I'll take note of your answer. The frantic digging in the and living digging in the antic, reading old files and newspaper articles. You've come to find your parents are famed psychologists. You've also come to find that. They aren't really your parents. In fact, they're not even related to you at all. From what you can gather, though, your new discoveries... Uh, as From what you can gather through your new discoveries, a story tells of a young child who develops psychotic tendencies and went into a trance before murdering their parents in a tragically brutal way. However, that child suffered so much trauma from the event of the loss of their parents once the trash trance had worn off that they repressed the memory of their parents death blocking it completely from their mind two psychologists took the child into treatment and performed studies against the child's knowledge raising that child to be a fully functional adult while playing the role of the child's real parents to further gather data and potentially help that child avoid a terrible life in the process you are that child would you resent your would-be parents? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Would you be grateful that you gave a second chance of life? No. Would you feel betrayed by the secret they kept from you? Yeah. Would you confront them about the articles you found? Probably. If you were in their position, would you do the same for a child in a similar situation? Hmm, would I now? That's a good question. Um, I'm gonna say yes. I might do. Interesting. I have one final scenario for you before we move on. The end of the world has come and gone. All that is left are post-apocalyptic soldiers roaming the lands, combining through the towns and laying waste to any survivor in their path, in hopes of claiming their equipment for themselves in order to survive the harsh, barren wasteland known as planet Earth. You get in... You get in good with a large colony of soldiers and spend about six months with them before they decide that you're not pulling your weight. In order to save the very few rations they have left, they exile you from the compound and send you out to fend for yourself. You decide to venture into the neighborhood town, neighboring town in the hopes of finding food that was left behind by raiders. It only takes about a day and a half before you strike gold, a hidden underground bunker stockpiled to the brim with buck. Sorry. Um... A hidden underground bunker stockpiled to the brink with enough food to feed an entire colony for a year. Now you have few choices to make. Would you go back to the colony and tell them about the bunker or would you stay in the bunker all by yourself? Probably all by myself. If you could choose to only tell some of the soldiers about the bunker and let them in so you could lead a new colony but exile the soldiers who exiled you, would you do it? You know what, yeah, yeah, I would. If you were to lead a new colony, would you build it based on savagery and raiding? Or would you build it based on sharing and compassion? Passion. Savagery and raiding, sharing but Yeah, savagery and raiding. I am not sharing anything. If you were the leader of the colony that exiled you, except it was you who exiled someone else who wasn't pulling their weight, and that person just so happened to find themselves in a similar situation where they found a jackpot worth of food in an underground bunker, but they refused to share it with you and the colony. Would you raid them and steal it 
for yourself or would you let them keep what they found the bunker now belongs to me they can keep what they found yeah the bunker now belongs to me i'm gonna raid them very interesting well that wraps up this portion of the test but i need more from you before i allow you to rest a choice here a choice there which would you rather Moral dilemmas abound from what I can gather. And you will answer clearly, crisp, crisp and concise. That doesn't even rhyme. You will be selfish, or is your conscience a vice? In just mere moments from now, we both shall see. The difference between you are who you wish to be. Let us begin. Would you rather abandon the person you love the most or be abandoned by the person you love the most? Um, abandon the person I love the most. Would you rather have friends in high places who could get you anything you wanted but didn't necessarily care about you or friends who couldn't give you anything but they feel deep personal bond with you? Friends with a stronger bond, probably. Mm, wait. No, friends in high places... Who don't care about you can just ditch you and then you have nothing friends with strong stronger bond those are like you know better um you would rather find ten thousand dollars and keep it all for yourself or find twenty thousand but have to split it four ways with your closest friends and family uh keep it to myself Would you rather cheat on your partner but never get caught or know that your partner cheated on you but have no way of proving it? Uh, never get caught. Would you rather get rich through illegal means or be poor but live an honest life? Uh, rich but live a dishonest life. Would you rather press a button that would kill your favorite pet or press a button that would kill your favorite pet? Favorite family member? That's not even a question. Would you rather get fired from a high-paying job or have to fire your friend from a high-paying job? Uh, get fired from a... Fire my friend from a high-paying job. Would you rather sleep with your step-sibling or sleep with your best friend's partner? Uh, my best friend's partner? Would you rather... Save your best friend from certain death and let a thousand strang strangers die or save 1,000 strangers and let your best friend die. Save my friend but let a thousand strangers die. I don't give a fuck. Why, why, why do I give a fuck about strangers? Would you rather get free food for the rest of your life or rescue a starving child from a third world country? Free food for the rest of my life. I don't give a fuck about no kid. Would you rather be rich but without family or poor but with family, rich without family? Would you rather have to steal food for the rest of your life in order to eat or steal enormous amounts of money from the wealthy but have to destroy the money immediately after? Steal food for the rest of my life. Would you rather serve four years in the military during wartime or move to a third world country and never be allowed to return home. Move to a third world country permanently. Would you rather always be traveling 10 miles above the speed limit or 10 miles per hour below the speed limit? They're both illegal. I guess above. Uh, would you rather never have sex for the remainder of your life or have to have sex every day in order to stay alive? I guess have to have sex every day. <laughs> would you rather be addicted to hardcore drugs for 10 years but make a full recovery for addicted to alcohol for the rest of your life? Wait, but make a full recovery or addict to alcohol for the, for the rest of your life? Um... Hardcore drugs for 10 years. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, actually. I've, I've read... I, I, I brain farted. I, I thought, like, alcohol, like... I thought it was, like... 
I, I didn't think like it was alcohol. You know what? Alcoholic for the rest of my life. I probably already am going to be. Would you rather live to be 200 years old in a perfectly preserved youthful body and have to watch your friends and family die around you or live to be 70 but die before your friends and family? I'll live my friends and family for 200 years, live to be 70 and die before my loved ones. Yeah, that one. Would you rather sacrifice all of your friends in order to survive or sacrifice both your parents? Both my parents. Would you rather get acknowledged for work that you didn't do or work hard for the rest of your life but not receive any praise for it? I guess acknowledged for work I didn't do. Like, <laughs> Oh my god. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. <laughs> That's funny. Would you rather punch a nun or get punched by a nun? I mean, if I got punched by a nun, that would be payback. Uh, I'd rather punch a nun again. Would you rather lose all, all of the money you've earned this year? Or lose all of the memories you've gained this year. Lose all the money I've earned this year. Lose all the memories I've gained this year. No, lose all the memories. Would you rather flip a coin for a chance to win twenty pounds twenty dollars immediately? For a ch for a chance to win twenty dollars or immediately win twenty dollars. Keep a guaranteed ten dollars. Would you rather know how you die or know when you'll die? No how or no when. I'd rather I think I'd rather know when. Would you rather be blind but be able to see crystal clear on the water or be deaf always? Blind except for the water, be permanently deaf. Mm, I think be permanently deaf. Like noises really annoy me, so Would you rather give up all internet and social media but be able to travel the world for free or have the best internet in the world for free but never leave your house? I mean, I already never leave my house, so... Would you rather walk barefoot across a bed of hot coals or walk barefoot, barefoot through a pitch black snake infested corridor? Um, Snakes in the dark. Would you rather be the judge who sentences people to death or the executioner in charge of killing them? The executioner. <sighs> Would you rather have a witch cast a nasty hex on ha a witch cast a, na a nasty hex on you so you'll always have bad luck? Which I already do. Or be haunted by a demon intent on possessing you. I think that second one sounds a lot more... A lot more fun. Would you rather be married to someone incredibly beautiful who doesn't find you attractive. Or be married to someone who you're not even remotely attracted to but they find you incredibly attracted. Um, Marry someone who's not attracted to me. Would you rather work a high paying job that you despise or a low paying job that you love doing? I swear I asked this like in the last game. For fuck's sake. Um, What did I answer last game? Uh, low paying job I love doing, I guess. Would you rather walk one mile home wearing nothing but a pair of socks or be fully clothed but have to walk a hundred miles to get home? I already do. <laughs> Would you rather find five dollars in your pocket or have to grab a hundred dollars out of a public toilet? Oh, easy. Like, I'll do anything for money.
This is why I don't fucking stream during the day. Uh, would you rather have a hundred of your favorite books but never watch a movie again, or have a hundred of your favorite movies but never read a book again? I'd give up books for a hundred movies, probably. Would you rather always be 20 minutes late to everything or two hours early to everything? 20 minutes late, I already am. Would you rather find a dead body or be a witness to a deadly assault? Uh, find a dead body. Would you rather be able to change your past or see what the future holds for you? Changed my past. Would you rather have one really great friend or a hundred mediocre friends? One great one. Would you rather lose all of your teeth or lose one day off your life every time you kiss someone? Basically, I'm gonna live forever. Da -da -ding. Uh, one day of life for each kiss. Would you rather win the lottery and lose the ticket before you can collect your money or see your worst enemy win the lottery? No, fuck no. I'd rather win the lottery and lose my ticket. Would you rather find true love or have your dream job? Um, I don't have a Find true love, I guess. Would you rather have a pause button for life or a rewind button? I think a rewind button. Would you rather drown to death in gasoline or be boiled to death in water? Uh, mm, gasoline doesn't taste very good, so boil. Would you rather make a new friend every day or get a hundred dollars a day for doing nothing but never make friends again? Oh, easy. Yeah, hundred dollars friendless. Would you rather die to save your family or sacrifice your family to save yourself? Do you want to save my family? Sacrifice my family to save my own life. I don't give a fuck about my family. Always be hated by those closest to you for something you didn't do or have hurt everyone you care about, but they never find out it was you. Uh, rather be hated for something I didn't do or hurt everyone I love without being blamed. Yeah. Would you rather sleep with your worst enemy or sleep with someone who you know has many incurable STDs? Eh. I guess sleep with my worst enemy. It's only once. Would you rather only eat food you don't like or give up all liquids except for water? I don't, that doesn't sound too bad. Would you rather always listen to music at max volume or always listen to music just above the lowest volumes? Um, if I'm wearing headphones, I already listen to it on max volume, so. Would you rather meet your hero and find out that they don't like you, or never meet your hero at all? Eh, my hero probably wouldn't like me. I don't even know who my hero is, so, yeah. Would you rather never have a pet for the rest of your life, or never have friends for the rest of your life? Never have friends. Mm. Nah, pets are better friends. Would you rather live in excruciating pain for the rest of your life or live pain free but everyone you know and love will live in excruciating pain for the rest of their lives? Live in excruciating pain? Loved ones in excruciating pain, yeah? Thank you for answering my questions, but we're not yet done. For we have made it through many categories categories except one these final questions will be from deep within i want to see your soul i want to see your heartbeat quicken i want to learn all you know i want to see what makes you think i want to know what makes you tick i want to know your darkest truths i want to know what makes you sick that doesn't rhyme i want i want you to expel the truth to yourself I want to feed you on your precious fate. I want to learn all of your, all of your love and bathe in all your hate. So one last time, we sit together 
as we await the final revelation. These are the last questions I have, the last examination. Take your time and take your time. Do think hard, savor every moment dearly. For when I am finally finished with you, you will see it all ever so clearly. And here we go. Do you ever lie to those who are closest to you? Yes. Have you ever hurt someone who you, who you know didn't deserve? Yes. Have you ever lost your temper when you know you shouldn't, you shouldn't have it? Yes. Have you ever intentionally hurt an animal? Uh... No. Have you ever blamed someone for something that you know they didn't do? Yes. Have you ever abandoned a pet? No. Have you ever abandoned a loved one in their time of need? In their time of need, I'm not sure. But I have abandoned a loved one, I'm just gonna assume it's in their time of need. Yes. Have you ever stolen something from someone that you cared about? Yes. Have you ever broken something to spite someone that you cared about? To spite someone that you Yes. Have you ever played the victim in a situation even though you had been wronged? Yes. Have you ever had romantic feelings for someone who wasn't your partner while you were in a relationship? No. Have you ever wished for the death of someone who had wronged you? Yes. Have you ever wished for the death of a loved one? Yes. Wait. Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> if you knew that writing someone's name on a piece of paper could instantly cause their death, would you write down anyone's name? Yes. <laughs> this is just taken straight out of death note. Uh, do you feel like you could spend more time with your loved ones than you currently do? Yes. Have you ever owned so have you ever owed someone an apology but refused to apologize to them? Yes. Do you ever regret worrying too much about things you can't control? Yes. Wait. That might not have been right. Fuck. Do you ever feel like your negativity brings other people down? It might. Do you ever regret not standing up for yourself when you feel you've been wronged? Yes. Do you ever feel like you let others influence your decision? Uh, your decision making too much? No. Do you ever wish that you lived a more honest life? I kinda do. Has your dishonesty ever caused someone else to suffer? It might have. Have you ever had someone leave your life before you had the chance to tell them something important? Yes. Do you ever feel like you prioritize people in your life that are unworthy of your time? No. Do you ever feel like you prioritize your own wants before those who need before those who need you most? Yes. Do you ever feel like you spend too much time working towards something that you are not truly passionate about? Yes. Do you feel like you you're living up to your full potential. <laughs> it ain't much, but yeah. Do you ever let your fear stop you from pursuing things that you truly want? No. Have you ever refused to try something because you were afraid it would fail? No. I don't think. I, I might have actually. Have you ever been attracted to someone but refused to let them know because you were afraid of being rejected? Uh, yes. Uh, do you ever feel as though you're chasing the wrong things in life? Yes. Do you ever feel like you spend too much time planning for the future that you ignore the present? No. I just kind of live my present and then the future just comes and goes. Do you feel like your friends and family like you more than you like them? Uh, probably. Have you ever loved a pet more than your family? Yes. Do you ever make up excuses to get out of going to an event instead of just telling the person who invited you that you just don't want to go? Yes. 
do I feel like you spend more time with technology than you do building stronger bonds with your friends and family? Yes. Have you ever defend someone that you shouldn't have? Yes. Do you sometimes have a hard time admitting that you're wrong? Yes. Do you have... Do you ever place the blame for your personal failures on someone or something else? Yes. Have you ever accused someone of something with no real evidence to back it up? Yes. Have you ever had sex with someone who you know you shouldn't have? No. Have you ever had any kind of relationship with someone whom you know you shouldn't have? No. Have you ever let a relationship degrade because you were afraid of being the one to break up with someone? No. Do you ever feel like you could take better care of your own health? I probably could and should, but I just don't. Uh, have you ever let someone else take the blame for something that you did? Yes. Have you ever acquired something that you didn't really want just because someone else wanted it? Uh, no. Do you, do you ever feel like you're not living up to others' expectations? Probably. Have you ever walked out of someone's life without any explanation? Yes. Do you ever feel like you focus more on the negative aspects of your life than what you don't have, and what you don't have, rather than being grateful for those, for what you do have? Uh, yes. Have you ever witnessed someone being wronged but didn't have the courage to stand up for them? Um... Yes. And finally... Do you feel like you're a good person? No. Very interesting. That concludes the ending to your examination. In your mind, I have dug myself a hole. I will analyze your answers very carefully. And now, it's time for me to gaze into your soul. This is preposterous. This simply cannot be. I have expected every potential outcome, but yours seem to have evaded even me. I was prepared to tell you of your fate, to play upon your fear. To break the worst of news to you. To plant seeds of doubt within your ear. But as I've asked you to be honest with me, I must in turn be just as honest with you. For as much as I wish to lie, I am forever shackled to the truth. From what I can deduct from deep within, from everything you've shared with me. In return, I shall share this with you. This is what I see. Hmm. Well, this is very interesting. You're not as naive as you come across. I mean that in a good way for the record. You can be skeptical sometimes. Uh, and you're nobody... And you're nobody's fool. And when someone manages to pull a fast one on you, good luck to them trying to make it happen twice. You're highly intelligent and you learn from your mistakes, which has taken you very far in life thus far. However, the issue is, you spent a lot of extra time second guessing yourself or others at times. And you waste a lot of valuable time trying to figure out the motives of another, rather than just going with the flow and seeing what happens. This is a defense mechanism that your mind has created to prevent you from being swindled or potentially hurt. This is both good and bad, as it can protect you from a lot of negative situations. However, it can also hinder you by forcing you to miss a lot of incredible opportunities by taking a chance. My advice to you would be to open up a little bit more. Let your hair down, let your guard down, and let your walls down. You will feel so much better and you'll get so much further in your life goals if you just take a moment to relax and say yes more often to new opportunities. Stop spending so much time thinking about what could go wrong and cut it down with to only one second of thinking what could go right. You miss 100% of the opportunities you don't take and not everyone is out to get you. 
I think you'll be very surprised just how much of a positive impact this can have in your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret, your secret word is trusting. Remember, remember this word. This will come in handy. If you received an ending that you've already received before from previous examinations, remember we do not ask your secret words prior to taking this test, so that you should be very telling. It means something special, and if your result is the same as something you got previously, we'd like to add the phrase "twin worlds" next to your secret words. In, secret word in the comments. Uh, new outcome. Got multiple layers of things. Um, got multiple layers of things to work on your journey. You may just have an extra layer of depth to your personality, but only you will know the answer to that. You've answered hundreds of questions. You've found deeper meanings. You've been enlightened and you've helped others find enlightenment. Many people have wondered just what the test series is truly about, but it's simple. The answers are always so much more simple than we believe them to be. The test is about you. I knew it. I, I knew it was going to be something like that. The reflection in your dark, the reflection in your darkened screen, the one who can seek the answers, the person who seeks answers. Okay. Uh, shit. Okay. Uh, that timer should be like ten minutes. Uh, ten minutes ahead, honestly. But well, maybe maybe not ten minutes. I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep it like that. For now, we're not even in the chat anymore. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh Okay, shut up myself. Okay. Um Wait, did I... Did I fuck something up? Wait, hold up. Uh... Hold on. Yeah. <sighs> 
Not really quick. Um, let me, uh, Also, I just realized my my last shiny hunting stream got blocked. Amazing. Hold on, yeah. Well, I just gotta check something. Hold on. Why is my life so fucking shit? <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, all right. I will peel the truth from your flesh like petals from a blackened rose. She loves me. Don't do this. She loves me not. She loves me. Please, I beg of you. She loves me not. Gah. She loves me. She loves me not. She will never love a monster like you. I like how they mirrored it. it. looks so weird mirrored. So let her choice take its toll. And in her cell. May. She. Rot. Amazing. Uh, no, I don't care. Uh, shut up, this is way too loud. Okay.